Yeah. Well, now, now we know anybody can, I mean, now we literally know anybody can become president, practically, because look what happened. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you know, I, it, yeah, exactly. Anybody, and, you're right. And yeah. I think the, 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 the point with Hillary Clinton was this idea that both parties are prone to doing, which is your turn, it's your yes. turn. Well, you know, that's not the way the American people at large think, mm -hmm. you know. The party might think it's somebody's turn, and they all do. I mean, you know, you saw this time and time again. You saw it with the Republicans with, you know, Dole. You saw yeah, it with right. John McCain. Mm -hmm. And before that with the Democrats, you saw it with Walter Mondale. With the first Bush, you know, after being yeah, Reagan's vice president. Right. Yeah, he was yeah, the, the next guy up. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> and, you know, now we're not going to see that anymore. Now the next president, either Republican or Democrat or some third party creation, which yeah. I don't think will happen, but let's just say, Anything can happen. Anybody can come out of anywhere now. Yeah. You know, as long as they get the money and, and the, the name celebrity. recognition. And the celebrity. Yeah. Exactly. That's the scary thing. It's, it, it's that, you yeah. know, his, his claim to fame, other than, you know, building gaudy buildings in Manhattan, yeah. was being on this ridiculous show. Right. Right. You know, it, it, and by the way, I just saw, I just saw about 10 minutes of the new apprentice, celebrity apprentice. With Arnold Schwarzenegger. It's really, it's really bad. It really is. I, just, I couldn't watch it anymore. He's like this, you know, this wooden giant. Yeah, 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 yeah. But yeah, no, I mean, reality TV is the, is the key to fame and, 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 you know, this idea. I mean, it's not even real. And yet he yeah. projects himself as this autocratic, you know, uh, uh, you know, judge of people's performance. And, you know, what was he talking about? You know, Gilbert Gottfried and you know, <laughs> Gary Busey and, you know, one of the Baldwin brothers. His exactly. Names I can't remember. Billy. Billy. Yes. The, uh, Billy yeah. Baldwin. Billy yeah. Baldwin. So, yeah, I mean, you know, um, you know, I remember, you know, and you think of all the stuff that he's coming into office with, too. You know, there's, there's at least one harassment lawsuit that's percolating, yeah. sexual harassment thing. He's got that. Uh, fake Trump University thing he's yeah. still dealing with. His foundation, whatever that was, is, you know, talk about the Clinton Foundation, what about the Trump, Trump charity, yeah, you yeah. know? Um, and, you know, and just, you know the, the tape with Billy, what's his name? Oh, yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, come yeah. On. How is it not over after that? <laughs> yeah, I, I, that's what I never got. Uh, or, or when he, you know, when he, and I don't care what he well, says, when he mocked the reporter who had a disability. Yeah. Yeah. How is it not over? Well, here you go. Here, now we're back to my idea of dueling again. Yeah. You know, I mean, these things can all be settled with just, <laughs> yeah, just kidding. But uh, no, I mean, yeah, it's bizarre, actually. Yeah. I mean, it, and, and, you know, we, we live in a, I think it's, it's, we live in a time where there's no sense, <clears throat> seriously speaking here, there's no sense of honor or civility or, uh, you know, uh, I guess norm, nor, normal, you know, behavior. Yeah. Uh, and anything goes, and you know things are settled, you know in the in this Facebook, you know yeah. Twitter age, uh, which is sort of you know it's like the open street, it's in the cyber space equivalent of Dodge City. Yeah, you know, exactly. Guns blazing, man. Nothing. Everything. Anything goes. And you never you know? have to see the guy. And you know. Yeah. You know, there's, and yeah, that's the remarkable thing. The remarkable thing about Trump is it didn't matter, no matter what he did or said. It didn't matter. You know, when, when it tells you said, the level of anger, though. It really yeah, does. Yeah. Yes. You know, I mean, it, it tells you, else. Yeah. Yeah. You know, how fed up people are for whatever reason, and yet it doesn't. As we said at the outset of the show, Tom, it, it doesn't seem to match necessarily the reality across the of board. life. Yes. Which is not to say that there aren't people out there who are really in tr you know, serious, yes. serious trouble and feel neglected and forgotten. That's an absolute truth. Yes. However, we live in pretty good times. You know, yeah. you want to bring back America when it was great? Let's go back to 1900 when people died of scarlet fever. Yeah, you know? when we had children working in factories <laughs> yeah, 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 at yeah. 10 years old. I mean, yeah. 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 It's all great if you're one of the rich guys back then. Exactly. Yeah. That's why Trump wants to go back then. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. So, yeah. so anyway. We, let's touch a little bit yeah. on uh, local politics. Sure. There's going to be a county yes. executive race next this year, year, apparently. This yeah, year. this year. Oh, my this God. This year. It's on us. It's upon us. Man. I, yeah. And, uh, you know, I've been, <clears throat> since I've been, uh, uh, since I left the uh, journal news slash loha.com, I've kind of out of the loop on a lot of that stuff. But when I... When I last looked at this thing, there was supposedly going to be an announcement by now from the Yonkers mayor, uh, Mike Spano, we thought was going to run or announced that he was going to run for county executive against uh, Rob Probably Astorino. Now, did I miss something here? Is he no, I, he hasn't announced, okay. as far as I know. I, no. I, I think I would have got an email. 
So, I mean, uh, you know, the, uh, uh, the Astorino plan seems to be, yeah, I'm going to run again for a third term in his case, yeah. and then, you know, run again in 2018 against, uh, against Cuomo. Against Cuomo. Yeah, it, it, but we'll see what happens. What, 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 what is, what's catching up to him now is yeah. you know, all these years of not raising taxes, yeah. which was kind of like a shell game because he's right. borrowing money. Right. And, you know, I think, I think the chickens might come home to roost. You know, well, trying to sell the airport. And, yeah, you know, yeah, selling the airport, <laughs> yeah. selling the bridge. Yeah. You should, and, sell, you should sell the Tappan Zee Bridge. Yeah, Wait a minute. <laughs> yeah. It's not even finished yet. Um, well, <clears throat> listen, I mean, it's succeed, he's succeeded so far. Yeah, he has. You know, and, you know, the, the remarkable thing about Rob Astorino is that it doesn't seem to matter what the enrollment is in Westchester because he's won yeah. two elections fairly handily. Uh, in a county where, you know, Republicans are clearly the minority. Yeah, it's almost two to one. It's almost two yeah. to one. But, you know, the other thing I've noticed, I, I'm sure you have too, is that for the first year, for the first time, this is the first year where the small I independents, the non-affiliated yeah. voters, have exceeded the number of Republicans. Yes. Now, it's, it's nowhere near yet how much the, the, Democrats. the Democrats have, but the rate of growth, I think, is, is, is faster on yeah, that. And that's an interesting with, phenomenon, Yeah, too. than it is with the Democrats. So even though the Democrats are way ahead of everybody still, there is a fulminating, yeah. I've had it with these parties. parties yeah. yeah, and I can understand that. Yeah. Uh, but it, what happens, too, in an odd-numbered year election yes. is that the turnout Right. It's just so low. Right. Well, he's, he, he, he benefits from that. Because, oh, without a doubt. Because Republicans are more they come out and committed the, voters. They, they're committed. They come, I mean, the, the yes. numbers show it. Yep. That, uh, and that's to their credit. You know, right. They, and this is a problem. The Democrats, without you know, a doubt. With, with, they're going to have to, they're gonna have to uh, look at because they just don't get, you're right, they just don't get the turnout for the city council meetings nope. or the, or the uh, you know, we, you know, you know. the village, <clears throat> in the village of Mamaroneck here, the uh, mayoral and uh, deputy mayor position are up in yeah. odd-numbered years. And, right. you know, people always say, well, what happens in odd-numbered years? Well, why can't, yeah. who, who are these people that don't vote? I said, well, I know exactly who they are. Right. You know, who? I said, Democrats. Right. You know, They're <laughs> Democrats. And, you know, and this is a problem they're going to have on the, on the, uh, on the, we see it. We saw it in this last election, in the presidential election, because um, they get the turnout. Yeah, they got the turnout. Hillary won the popular vote. Yeah, where did she win the popular vote? In Democratic states, yeah. where you know it doesn't matter. Yeah. you know it, it doesn't. It's not going to win her the electoral vote uh, yeah. election. So, you know, the, 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 you've heard about this two seventy thing. Oh, is this the movement to yeah, uh, the, get rid of the enough, st enough states right. would commit, yes. no matter who won in there. Oh, yes. To, to Well, that's over with now, isn't it? I mean, no, they, but this is like something, you have to have your legislator pass the law. Oh, okay. And so at any time, you know, uh, they, they want to get a number of states that adds up to 270. Yeah. And no matter who your state voted for, you would vote for the winner of the Electoral College. Right. Not the, the winner of the, yeah. the popular vote. Oh, okay. So. Well, I, you know... Um, Hey, listen. This is the first time somebody, uh, you know, lost the uh, the uh, popular, or you know, won, lost the popular vote and won the the election. So, you know, I mean, it's. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. Yeah, they keep changing it's... the rules on us, man. I don't know. Uh, you know? Yeah. Well, the rules suck. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, what I I, I think that, that, that that's an easy way of sort of subverting. I think the the demographic yeah. problem. But, you know, I mean, if the Democrats really want to. The yeah, they go back. They, they should have won this election. They should have won the election. They, they should, they should go back yes. to their roots and find yes, out exactly. all those people that felt left no, you're out. You're right. You're Do right. the hard work. You you're know? absolutely right, Glenn. You're you know, walking stop, the stop, stop trying to rig it. I mean, you know, I spent two months arguing right. with union members yeah. about why this is a bad decision for you. Right. And uh, what did they say? You know, a lot of it had to do with you know this, this I think mistaken. Uh, belief yeah. that you know illegal immigrants are taking our jobs, right? And you know and he's going to stop that because first of all, I don't believe he's going to stop that. I don't believe he really cares about our jobs. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you know, it, it's it's a lot of blue collar jobs are being lost to uh, automation and right. to technology change. No, when, I, when I came in the elevator business, right. you got twelve weeks to put in an escalator, right? From start to finish, right? Now it's two, right? 
And it's not that, you know, it, it's just there's so many things that come pre-wired, pre-set up, yep. that you used to have to do yourself. Actually, it was more fun. You were a better mechanic because you had to do all this yourself. Yeah. But now it's, you know, it's plug and play. You, know, you drop it in, you do a few things, bang, you're done. Right. And you can't tell them, you know, let's go back to the Stone Age, you know, I'm, I'm going to forge everything myself and, uh, you know, we're going to, yeah. you know, because it, it, it is what it is. Automation yeah. is automation. Yeah. And, you know, we've lost a lot of work from that. Well, I think, I think you know, the, the <clears throat> my sense of, you know, I'm not smart enough or know enough, <laughs> really, to know how much of the toothpaste is out of the tube yeah. and, ha you know, or not. But I do get the sense that the, <clears throat> the, I agree with you that automation has something to do with it. I also have a sense that there are people who felt that somebody like Hillary, particularly maybe those guys you work with, mm -hmm. just didn't, she didn't really represent them. She doesn't really, you yes. know, that, that, you know, her, her attitude is, or I shouldn't say attitude, but her, her posture, yeah, her, yeah. Posture, her, her concerns are, are not in line. They, they felt and like there's she's a, just talking about this now because she's running for president. Yeah, I mean, and the truth is, you know, you're right. They're not going to bring back the coal mine, uh, yeah. coal mining jobs. It's just not going to happen. No. So we're on this, we're on this trajectory that seems to be very difficult to stop. I mean, that's just the way it is. I mean, I listen. You know, I'm in a business uh, where people get laid off all the time. Yeah. And I never had to get my hands dirty or risk my life doing it, you know, except maybe driving in the rain, you know, <laughs> to get to a fire or well, something. You went to some bad city council meetings. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yonkers right, and right. Stuff. Well, somebody went to, actually, I got shoved up against the wall once. That's about the most <laughs> dangerous thing. Else. But I didn't have to worry about a coal mine coming down on me. Right. And, but so, but uh, the point is that there are different industries that are going through convulsions. Yeah. And it's, uh, what do you do with particularly people who still have, you know, uh, are in a stage of life where they have to put food sure. on the table and they have to pay their mortgage or their rent or all of that kind of stuff. You know, and a 45, really 50 year old person yeah. still has kids, still right. have parents to take care of. And it just didn't seem like there was enough uh, empathy coming that way. But, uh, but the, here's my thing about the, I think there's a sense out there that, that the, the, global, the globalization uh, created a kind of a sense where the people that are running the companies and corporations, you probably agree with me yeah. on this one, that uh, that, that they're not based in the United States. They really, they're, they, the profits go outside. The profits go outside. Yeah. Their their patriotism, if that's what it is, yeah, it's, seems it's to be non-existent. Non-existent. Non -existent. No. So they they and and they p capitalize on this. So. They do. Yeah. Well, so Phil, I, this has been a great conversation. We're over. I, I've been told our time is up. Oh my gosh. There's two guys who could really talk. Well, and we really flies. solved the world's <laughs> problems, didn't we? we well, really... we're done here. Okay. <laughs> Phil, thank great. you very much. Thanks Good luck in the future. Time.